Hello everyone, welcome to the electrical circuit simulation series. Today we will study the full wave rectifier with and without the filter capacitor and the diode. So this is the circuit diagram. There are a few components. I will explain this component. The very first component is the AC source. So this AC source will produce a sine wave. Then we have the transformer. This is a special type of a transformer which has one primary and two secondaries. Then we have two diodes. We will be using two diodes in this case, the upper and the lower one. Then we also use a switch. Now this switch will serve the purpose of connecting and disconnecting this capacitor which is acting as the filter. When the switch is open, as in this case we see, this capacitor is disconnected. So when we uh, use this particular circuit in this mode, it is as good as uh, full wave rectifier without the cap filter capacitor. When the switch is closed, it becomes with capacitor. And this is the filter capacitor of 10, 10 microfarad. Then we have the series, we have a res resistor of 100 ohms where we get the output and then the ground connection to complete the circuit. So this is the input signal we'll be using the sine wave, the AC input. Now let us see the working without the filter. So as we see the switch is open. So this is the uh, working, we will study the working without the filter. Let us see what happens during the positive half of the AC. So this is the positive half of the AC when this we get at the primary of the, this is this input is applied to the primary of the transformer and because of which the, because there are two secondaries so the output voltage at the secondary is produced in such a way that we get positive negative positive negative so because of this two secondaries the upper diode is in on state because it is in forward bias mode and the lower diode it goes in the reverse bias mode so upper is in the forward bias mode and it starts conducting and this blue arrow as we can see this is the path of the current so we get the output at the resistor this 100 ohm resistor this is in the positive half now let us see what happens in the negative half during the negative half when we this input is uh, applied at the comes at across the primary of the transformer again two voltages different voltages are produced at the secondary now minus plus minus plus now because of this now in this negative cycle the upper diode is in the off state that it does not conduct it comes in reverse bias but the lower one now conducts in the on state and because of which the we get the current as seen by the blue arrow and even in this case we get the current in the same direction so whether the input cycle is positive or negative the current flowing through this particular re output resistor is in the same direction so we get the same output okay so this was uh, that was uh, with without the filter now when filter is applied as we close the switch the this capacitor gets connected so in the positive half as we know this is the flow of the current now in this case the current also flows to the above circuit and it char and this is the path so this blue path uh, and the red path the red path so shows the charging of the capacitor because of this closed path and because of this we get this plus and minus here okay the, the capacitor gets charged and this is it holds the output so the output does not falls in the second cycle so this red line as we can see it it, it, it does not falls to zero so we get this output okay uh, it does not falls to zero in the in the positive half as well as in the negative half you can see even in the negative half we get the same thing the capacitor again starts charging and because of which we get this polarity and because of which this black line is the without the filter and this red line as we can see this is with the filter okay. so let's see the waveform so this is the input pure sine wave then this is the output without the filter and because of the application of the filter this voltage does not false if we increase the value of capacitor this will almost become a straight line so this is what is required so now this was regarding the explanation part now let us go for the simulation So now we are into the Samuel ID. Let us select the power supply. This is the AC power supply. This is the AC power supply. We select this one. Okay. Then uh, we select the transformer. So this is the transformer. We get this transformer here. Okay. Then we require the diode. Two diodes. I will just put this diode up. Then there is another diode here separate it out 
then we require a capacitor a resistor so let us take the resistor first we'll just take this resistor here and then we need a filter capacitor and a switch so this is the switch we select this switch here I keep it this switch here then this is the filter capacitor here and then we need a ground so this is the ground now uh, before doing the connection we'll just make uh, we need to just take change here to go in, in just go in properties and here secondary because this is only one secondary we need two secondaries so one is to one okay so we get this so this is what is required as you can see there's a change here okay. now we can connect the circuit first of all let us connect the power supply this is the power supply and here we connect this to the ground and then we connect the the diode if the diode is connected and from diode we connect this to the resistor and this one we connect this to the another another diode and here this, this is what is connected then we connect this part to the ground and this also these two we connect it together okay we can directly connect it to the ground actually next we need to connect the filter capacitor this is this comes across the series resistor so we just connect this here and this we connect it here this connection is complete so this connection this is left okay so this connection is done now now let us uh, now we need to change one more thing here this power supply is uh, of 2. Point, uh, something you can electrical properties this 2.5 we will just take it as 10 volt because there are two diodes so we need uh, 10 volt for their proper conduction so let us now select the oscilloscope this is the oscilloscope okay. we first connect this to the input this is the input and here we get the output so I'll just connect this point here this is the output okay okay now let us turn it on okay we'll just turn it on connect the power supply maybe you will get this now how to stop this wave is we can just click click here trigger okay and this voltage is quite high we can actually uh, increase this so that we get a lower voltage and which can be actually seen properly so this is what the output we are getting now if this is what we are getting okay let us also change the time divisions this is the time division now there is some phase shift so we can just adjust this phase shift with this one sorry this one okay now this is the proper output as we can see this yellow wave is the input and this purple wave is the output so we get full wave rectification the current flowing in the same direction okay now this output is without the filter now suppose if we connect the filter I'll just click here so this is what we are getting this is the output with the filter so this without the filter this with the filter so this filter ensures that this output is not falling to zero but it almost continues and it clears tries to clear the ripple still this uh, is not a pure DC we are just having some ripples but it is better than uh, this one these are the pulses of DC and this is a little more DC to more closer to DC this is without filter and this is the way to filter so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching